Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Damian Maya! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Hamzat Borsh Chibayev! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. So here is the perennial welterweight contender, former UFC middleweight title challenger, Damian Maya. Hard to believe that he's 40 years old now because he is only getting better with age, like a fine wine, as good a submission guy as we have ever seen inside the octagon. Oh! Oh, lands a hip toss to get him down. That can't feel good. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. He lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Shimaev's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Maya's got the full mount. He should be trying to get back to his feet. Big ground and pound. Going for a submission now, or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. It's in there deep. There you go. Working hard for the armbar, he has got to get his hands on the if he wants to find his finish. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little bit of danger. This up. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, nice. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pump. Maya's in half guard now. Getting the ball here. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Maya. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's having his way with him here. Myers is able to flatten him out now. This could be real trouble now. Under 30 seconds. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Maya. Nice sub attempt. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. You're not tired. I don't care. You're going to get out there and you're going to work. You train. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep Ready. up with. Round two here. Nice punch there by Mike. That left hook was crazy. Oh, good block there. Well, we see this a lot, DC, but this instance, it's particularly surprising to see a wrestler on his leg not attempt to change the look. I don't understand it. You know, when you have that weapon, when you have that ability to take people to the ground, you have to use it. Get it, jump! Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal. 
special defense by this young man. Ooh, looks like another submission attempt now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he's going to try to slam. Oh, slams into the ground. Just as his opponent's attempting a triangle. That is one way to change course. Excellent job of making the proper adjustment right there. Great ground and pound by this man. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. She might have been half goal. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been so tight. Cat and mouth. You gotta play cat and mouth. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of it. Block that punch. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, he loved that beat, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Maya's looking to lock up an off guard here. He's got it isolated. All he's got to do now is... Oh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the oh, round. Stop. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but I'm able to win. to try to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Uh, high level stuff here with the ground and pound by Chimaya. Trying to recover full guard there. He passes the half. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Maya. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Choke is locked in. Good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Now he's got to be very patient as he moves to the next position. Gives him switch. He's up. What submission defense on this play? Good work from the top here by Chimaya. Might be a submission attempt here, Chimaya. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. 
Oh, good take now. There he's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, my goodness, goodness. He got out again. Wow. That is fantastic submission defense. Now he's going full mount. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying on the own submission. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pound going. Oh, he's got to get his one, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of... So the fight goes the distance, and man, did they entertain the masses. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is considered a majority draw. All right, so the fight goes to the judges' scorecards, and it is scored a majority draw. Both fighters had their moments. It was an exciting fight, and no red stripe on the Wikipedia page for either fighter. That's pretty good news. Yeah, you know, neither guy gets a loss, and both guys had good spots in the fight. No one was able to do anything sustained that allowed for them to separate distance themselves. Uh, tremendous fight, very evenly matched, and we knew that coming in.